I'm Sarah Allen. And I'm Russell Biven. And as all the fun and excitement of this Dogwood Parade makes its way down Gay Street, you will be a part of it from your home, courtesy of Channel That's 10. That's right. We've got 60 different parade units who are going to be making their way past us. We've got floats. We've got balloons. We've got bands, dancers, sing it, singers. You name it, we have got it tonight. Absolutely. And we have two folks joining us from Pool 93, Alex King and Kevin. Welcome, guys. Hey, thanks very much. We're down here in the streets. We're excited about being here. We've got a lot of great interviews and uh, a, a whole bunch of great floats and some exciting things coming up. This That's year. right. And we're also going to, you know, like you said, we've got a lot of interviews lined up. So we're going to... But don't worry. You don't have to go to St. Louis to build your own bear. All you have to do is go right down the West Town Mall. And speaking of going down, coming down the road right now, Good Time Harvest Dance and Junior Kung Fu Stick Exercise. This is amazing. The Chinese American Organization, the East Tennessee Chapter, partners with the East Tennessee Chinese Association. Both groups promote good citizenship, Asian culture and heritage, and also equal rights. And these dancers and musicians are actually from Sheshuan University, and that is in Knoxville's sister city, Shangdu, China. Of course, they're wearing the colorful traditional dance costumes, and they are provided a captivating glimpse into Chinese culture. And they did so at yesterday's opening day ceremonies as well for the Dogwood Arts Festival. That's right. This is actually, I guess, officially the second day of the Dogwood Arts Festival and all up and down Gay Street and throughout the Market Square area. You can see just so many tents, covered tents with all neat, all kinds of neat arts and crafts and fun artsy festival types of things. It's a really great atmosphere down here tonight. And you mentioned the weather. Last year, it was about 33 degrees. I was going to go with even colder than that. It was it, freezing. Yeah, and it's absolutely perfect this year. Which makes the anniversary of this parade. And uh, we will get started in this thing in just moments. The 2004 Dogwood Arts Festival Parade is coming up in just a moment. It's Dogwood time in Tennessee. Tonight, live from downtown Knoxville, a Dogwood Arts tradition, the 2004 Dogwood Arts Parade. Brought to you by Braden's Fine Furniture and Interiors. The finest furniture with the lowest prices in the South. Waste connections, connect with the future. And Dollywood. Don't miss the Festival of Nations going on now. And now your hosts, live at five, Sarah Allen and Russell Biven. Getting a little bit of the sights and sounds here at the parade. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Allen. And I'm Russell Biven. This is a huge crowd behind us, as you can see. What a wonderful day to have the Dogwood par uh, Parade here. Probably one of the best ones we've seen. Actually, last year, it was freezing. I remember that. And the year before that, it was freezing. And this really is the first beautiful weekend we've had. And that's why there are so many people out there lining the streets, so excited to get this parade underway. And now we are going to toss you to a man that needs no introduction, Ken Schwall. Oh, come on, give me one anyway. Oh. No, never mind. That's all right. Russell, I have this gentleman here. Your name is? Joe. From the? Knoxville Swing Dance Association. And uh, Russell, Joe wanted me to thank you for the use of the outfit, and he'll have it back in your <laughs> closet by, uh, by morning, I'm sure. Will you not? Absolutely. The, the, Knoxville, the Knoxville Swing? Dance Association. Dance, okay. So if you want to swing or dance, this is your man here. All right. Back to you, Russell. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure those shoes get back there, though. I was going to say, he's barefoot right now without them, so, you know. All right. One of the the, uh, the acts that's starting this parade here tonight is the East Tennessee Chinese Coalition, the Organization of Chinese Americans. is a national organization of Chinese Americans. They have 83 chapters all over the U.S. and in Hong Kong. Now, the organization promotes Asian heritage, culture, equal rights, and just good citizenship. Their theme this year is Welcome Spring, with a medley of Chinese folk dance, with some martial art exercises, and traditional and tribal fashion from China. And the festival, the Dogwood Arts Festival, will go through April the 25th, so really we're just kicking things off here. We're about halfway through, and this is what people look forward to. Now that the weather is nice, people are getting out and enjoying it. If you see behind the dancers right here, those who are performing the martial arts, you'll get a glimpse of an enormous dragon coming down the parade route. You're thinking Jurassic Park, Russell. I know it's okay. Relax. I'm concerned right now. I know. Don't be. Don't worry. This is Alfonso the Dragon is going to be coming down in a few seconds. You can see him there right he there. Is. He's sponsored by Braden's Fine Furniture and Interiors. Actually, Braden's is a f proud sponsor of this year's Dogwood Art.
time, Knoxville hosted boat races. It made for quite a spectacle along Volunteer Landing. A more than 2,000 year old Chinese tradition finds its way to Knoxville for Labor Day weekend. Ironically, corporate teams find themselves laboring like never before. It's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, we practiced twice before we actually came to game day, and it's all back work. It, we were sore, so I'm glad we had a couple days off before we actually had to come out. Teams of 22 pile onto nearly 40 foot long canoes decorated in bright colors with dragon heads and tails. But make no mistake, this is no art contest, it's a race. Well, we were a little off beat in the beginning, but we got the hang of it in the long run. And we, we took them by a couple dragon heads. In China, the Dragon Boat Festival is second in importance only to the Chinese New Year. Knoxville's Chinese community says this event educates as well as entertains. I think it'll probably enlighten people a lot about other cultures and help people understand the other countries better. Even though the Dragon Boat race is new to Knoxville, the city says it's looking to make it a Labor Day weekend tradition. This year, money raised by the teams goes to help the homeless at the Knox Area Rescue Ministries. I think that's what we're all here for, is to, is to help those less forces we are. Uh, we all lead pretty good lives, and we just like to help where we can. So why dragon heads on the boats? According to Chinese tradition, the dragon is a symbol of honor that signifies loyalty, dignity, power, and good fortune. Action 10 News Nightbeat.